Hey, what's going on guys? This is Miasin. I'm actually going to be uh, talking about the Arm Dragon monsters that got announced a couple of days ago. I know I'm late, but uh, before you start, friendly reminder to like and subscribe because it does because it does motivate me a lot to keep making videos like these. Jesus, holy shit. Anyways, uh, let's get into it. So, uh, 110, 100, and then uh, Chas Princeton Thunder. Okay, sure. Alright, so Arm Dragon Thunder level 10. We're already off to a great start. I don't know why they actually didn't start with the uh, uh, like the level 3 and then the level 5 and then the, you know, anyways. So, level 10, uh, this card was special summoned by an Arm Dragon monster effect. Apply these effects depending on this card's attack. So, uh, you're going to see why this is just very easy, e very, very easy to achieve. So, one or more, I mean, come on, your monster is always going to have at least one uh, or more attack. So, the con it gains in a, a continuous effect where the name is always treated as Arm Dragon level 10, which is uh, quite irrelevant, to be honest. <laughs> 10 or more, a position of this card cannot switch. Your opponent cannot use Mind Control or three tactical talents to steal this card. Not the most relevant thing in the world. It's still cute, but, you know, come on. Your monster has to have 10 or more attacks. So basically, these effects will always be applied. Even this one, 100 or more, cannot be destroyed by battle. And 1,000 or more, once per turn, during your opponent's turn, uh, quick effect, uh, quick effect. You, you can send one card from uh, your hand to the graveyard, then target one other card on the field, destroy it, and if you do, this card gains a thousand attack just like Dragoon, but this card doesn't negate, it destroys a card during your opponent's turn only, not during your turn as well, so it's an interruption, you can easily achieve it with only one card, which is very, very sick. But that's kind of that's that's kind of it, <laughs> honestly. Uh, it's kind of just it, and also the the final effect. Uh, good luck getting there. Uh, you need a month. You need to have this uh, skyrocket uh, freaking ten thousand attack. So if you have ten thousand or more attack, one spare turn can destroy all other cards on the field. Not a quick effect. Not during their player's turn. Blah blah blah. Uh, who cares? The, this is irrelevant. I mean, <laughs> sure. Uh, the cool thing about this is, I guess, uh, this middle effect. Uh, the I mean, you're always gonna have it once again. As long as you have a thousand or more attacks, so you can pretty much pop a card. Uh, your opponent controls. Uh, well, I mean, any card on the field actually. It, it matters because sometimes destroying your own cards is nice when you play the artifact package and you actually did draw that artifact site. So, pretty cool, pretty cool. I like this Arm Dragon level ten. Let's get into the level seven. So, oh, and by the way, uh, this card you can only use. Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, oh yeah, okay, sh sure. It's once per turn effects, soft once per turns. Uh, starting from these guys, every effect, basically every ignition effect or trigger effect. Uh, yes, trigger effects, yes. Trigger and ignition are hard ones per turn, so regardless of the copies that you have access to, you can only use one. So, once again, the level 7 is always treated as a level 7 on the field or in the graveyard, so exactly like Harpies and Cyber Dragons. And then you can send one monster from your hand to the graveyard, send this card from the field to the graveyard, and if you do summon one level 10 or lower, Armed Dragon Monster from your hand or deck, Interesting. Uh, it's actually really cool how they all say like level 10, level 7, level 5, or lower. Uh, and not like the specific numbers. So even if you don't want to play like the really, really big ones, you can just play like a small engine with like the really small ones. And that's why I'm making a video on these cards. Like I already know what they do, but I feel like they could actually be splashed like somehow as an engine in a few decks, especially you when you're going to see the cards that I'm going to show later on. Not too bad, not too bad. But yeah. It's a pretty decent card, especially with this final effect. If this card is sent to the graveyard to activate a dragon monster effect, you can add one arm dragon card from your deck to the hand. So that's actually really, really neat. The fact that you can add any arm dragon card, not just a monster, it actually gets you access to your spell cards, which is, I mean, one of the spell cards is actually nasty. You're going to see. So I also like this card. Once again, you're going to see how you're going to have easy access to every single one of those effects with just one card. It's actually nuts. Arm dragon thunder level five. This is where we get into the juicy part. So once again, blah, 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 same as continuous effect. You can send one monster from your hand to the graveyard, send this card from the field to the graveyard. And if you do someone summon level one uh, summon one level seven or lower arm dragon monster from your hand or deck they all have like their it's kind of like the old school arm dragon monsters where like the level three evolves into level five and then level five into level seven and then level seven into t ten but you actually had to like waste like I mean f like wait a full turn like destroy a monster survive a battle stuff like that but this is just like very proactive like you just have to send a, a monster from your hand to the graveyard wait hold on a, a monster I, I thought it was a card ah okay yeah I mean this one, you can send one card from the hand to the graveyard to destroy, but yeah, okay, so if you want to use the effects to evolve them, you need to send a monster, so relatively interesting, and also it doesn't discard, it sends, so if you're playing like Dangers as a package, you do not trigger the Dangers, which is kind of kind of neggy, but it's not the end of the world. If this, the, the final effect, I love it so much, if this card is sent to the graveyard to activate a dragon monster effect, you can one you can add one level 5 or higher, I think, win the dragon monster from your deck to the hand. You already know that you're searching Tempest with this 
card literally every single time because Tempest can search your weaker dragons as well. And then uh, you kind of just win because if you're playing this in like Dragoonity, oh my god. You, you, like this is actually just such an easy engine to just splash in your Dragoonity deck. I can see Dragoonities getting like a huge buff with this engine. It's actually really nasty, and you don't even need to play like that many. You can go Tempest, discard, discard, uh, and then like, you know, search two cards in once, because obviously you had to pitch uh, this card to activate the effect of Tempest. So you get two searches, and this card also has a similar effect, but like uh, a bit less... Uh, th there, is not, there, is not, uh, there is less to explain about it, so it's the starter of the deck, of course, I mean, of the, of the package, because uh, Armed Dragon cannot be a deck, like you can't just play pure Armed Dragon, that makes no sense. Once again, the same old continuous effect, you can send one monster from your hand to blah blah blah, summon one level 5 or lower Armed Dragon monster from your hand or deck, uh, so even if you only play like one of each of the really high level ones, they're not necessarily bricks because you can still summon them from the hand, which is another really cool thing. And like I said, you can literally just play an engine of like three of these guys. Oh, and there is one final thing that I really, really have to explain. The only cost that these guys have is sending a monster from your hand to the graveyard, not actually sending itself to the graveyard. That's actually part of the effect. So if this card gets ashed or veilered or whatever, I mean, veilered or infinite. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> that, that doesn't count, actually. The card stays on the field. That's actually really sick. So it, it's a free body. It, once again, the fact that it's a dragon, you already know that this has the potential to allow you to go into LP. And guard dragon combos are pretty nasty, so you can even summon this off of LP and then like just pretty much explode and go all the way into uh, arm dragon level 10, get multiple effects, because if this card is sent to the graveyard to activate a dragon monster effect, including itself, literally, I mean, pretty much every single time use their own like effect, I'm pretty sure they do include themselves. Uh, you can pretty much draw one card. That's nice. So, off of one guy, what do you go? Uh, you go into the level five guy, into the level seven guy, into the level ten guy, which is an interruption. So one card equals one interruption, and in the process, yeah, sure, you pitch three cards from your hand to the grave, but you're going to draw one card. You're going to have. You're going to add one level five or higher. Uh, you know, like dragon wind monster from your deck to your hand, and you're going to add one arm dragon card from your deck to the hand. So not only is it uh, like refunding your discards every time, you can pretty much do this with just a level three guy and one card in your hand. I mean, one monster. Uh, it's just actually nasty. Like if you the only the other cards that you had in your hand were like kind of bricks, redundant cards, or anything, it's not too bad because you know that one card is getting you three fresh cards that it would that could potentially allow you to do like much more than that. So that's pretty much it for this very small arm dragon package. Now let's go into the next part, which I also like. Uh, this arm dragon white uh, completely sucks, zero potential. Uh, must be special summoned by its own effect. Level ten monster. You can banish arm dragon monster from. from your field or graveyard with total, total level equal 10 exactly special summon this card from your hand you can add one white veil you're no you know you're not gonna play white veil so this card sucks you take no effect damage irrelevant at the start of the damage step if this card attacks you can destroy one card on the field it doesn't target but who cares the, the card sucks it's uh, it's hard to summon it's I mean, it's literally harder to summon than like Armagram, Tempest, and all of those cards. And Armagram, I mean, isn't good in you know, like Dragoonity and stuff, so uh, zero reason to play a card like this. Alright, Arm Dragon Flash. This card might actually start seeing play in a lot of decks. So special summon one level three Arm Dragon Monster from your deck in defense position. You're not pl you're not summoning the other like the old one. You're obviously summoning this guy because he's a starter. So yeah, and quick play spell card. Hey, this card reminds me a lot of the rocket quick play. Yeah, it's a, a rocket launch or something like that. I forgot the name. That card's nasty, but uh, that's that's crazy, man. One quick play spell. The only drawback with this is that it's a hard once per turn. But if like so, if you get ashed or screwed because ash negates the effect and not the activation. But if you get like negated by, by like I don't know if your opponent is really stupid and like solemn judgments it or. Uh, Vortex, Infinity, or anything, you can use like another one because once again, you can only activate and not you can only use. So that's that's cool. Like, it's really good to be able to summon a one card starter, and it's a dragon monster that you're summoning from your deck with a quick play. That's actually nasty. Really similar to that rocket spell, honestly. I really like this card so much. By far the best, the better armed uh, armed dragon card. It's searchable by the big guy. So. Yeah, one card Romulus too. That's pretty good. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Arm Dragon Blitz. You can only activate one uh, once again, hard once per turn. You can have special summon monsters during the turn you activate, except dragon monsters. Dragonity don't care too much. Rockets, they kind of care in a way ish, but it's not the end of the world. I mean, you can deck build in order to not care too much. 
uh, if you activate a card like this successfully, you know at least that uh, you cannot like your opponent. Like if your opponent is playing this deck and he's doing this, you know that he can't just go Anaconda into Dragoon because those are two non-dragon monsters. Yes, Dragoon is not a dragon. I know. Uh, anyways, target one armed dragon monster you control. Take one monster from your deck or graveyard with the same uh, same name as that face up. By the way, I'm looking at my TV by the way because uh, my my camera is actually blocking my screen, so sometimes I can't actually <laughs> see well. But yeah, um. With the same name as that face-up monster on the field, and either add it to your hand or special summon it, ignoring the summoning conditions. But if you summon it, cannot attack directly, exactly like Shadal Rook. So it cannot attack directly, but it doesn't negate the effect. So it's Happy Land, and I mean that's just a free special summon. Once again, that's just Happy Land. Literally so good. Special summon from your deck or graveyard. What? Or you just add it from your hand. But why would you add it to your? Why would you add it to your hand? Uh, I don't know that, but still, it's it okay. Sure, it's not a starter on its own, so it cannot be played as a three of. But still, it's not too bad. You can definitely play this as a one of. It's searchable by the card that you are always going to have access to, such as this guy. I'm Dragon Level Seven. He's the guy who searches any Arm Dragon card from your deck to your hand. So absolutely fantastic. I also like this card a lot. I think the engine would probably have three Arm Dragon Flash, one Blitz. Uh, three level three guys, and then probably one or two of the big guys. Eh, probably just one because you can't really normal summon them. So yeah. Anyways, moving forward, Arm Dragon Lightning, continuous spell. I don't like this card. You can only use this first effect once per turn. You can target one, but uh, I, I don't care. Okay, I mean that's not bad. You can recycle back and like an Arm Dragon from your graveyard to your hand, but like who cares? And if an Arm Dragon monster you control would be destroyed by card effect, you can pretty much send this card to the graveyard instead. I I, I don't really like this. Like you can get compulsed and cry, and you might as well just play an extender instead of playing this. So it's not the kind of card that you will like want to search with your level seven. You just have like you you might as well just search like a like a good card like <laughs> I don't know Blitz and Flash. So uh, screw Lightning, it's garbage. Anyways, the final card is Arm Dragon Thunderbolt. So uh, it's a trap card, and it's actually a pretty decent one too. You can only use the first and second effect. I hate the PSS PSCT in uh, in the OCG. It makes no sense. One target, one Arm Dragon monster you control. It gains a thousand for each different card name uh, among the Arm Dragon monsters in your graveyard whose levels are equal to or lower than its own. Also, it I, I can't I can't read. Also, it inflicts no battle damage to your opponent for the rest of the turn. I don't care. You can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one Arm Dragon spell in your graveyard, add it to your hand. Uh, to, 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 no. <laughs> don't play this. Yeah. Just, don't play these two final cards. Just play one Blitz. Like I said, one Blitz, three Flash, and then obviously three level threes, and the rest is, like, to your discretion. But I do believe that this engine will definitely see a lot of play, potentially in Rocket if they get a hit. This will probably be the go-to option. But don't sleep on this at all, because it's really, really good. It could also see play in Dragoonity. Like I said, it searches Tempest, and Tempest searches Arm Dragon Thunder level three. <laughs> I will keep repeating myself. Don't sleep on this. So that's pretty much all I had to say for this... Uh, uh, review on the, this beautiful package of Arm Dragon cards. Hail Chas Princeton, and uh, once again, don't forget to like and subscribe because it motivates me a lot to keep making videos like these. That's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.